Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week 11 in the NFL is here. Hard to believe how fast the season's gone. Last week I did another 2-2 two two on my video picks. I went 1-0 on my teaser, my three-team teaser. And on my Twitter under and over, I went 2-1. Uh, gives me a 56% on the year and my teasers are at 60% of the year. So still pretty good. I'm, I'm still in the, in the green. I want to get better on my video picks as I'm just 50% overall throughout the whole year. Uh, Losing by juice if you're just going off my video picks. So we're going to get better than that. And that brings us to the comment of the week. And my comment of the week is from Chris X the Turtle. Dude, you look like you sniff coke. I don't get it. Let's go on with the picks. My fourth pick of the week, my upset pick of the week, we got the Arizona Cardinals traveling to the San Francisco 49ers. The Arizona Cardinals are a 12 point road dog. And I know Arizona's on back to back road games. San Francisco is at home, but the last time these two teams met, the, the spread was only at eight points. Here it is, I, they jumped up for four points more. This actually went almost 14 points. And I was like, you got a chance to jump on that, it's great, but now it stands at 12. Uh, but still, to me, it's a good deal because Arizona did cover that spread last time at eight, um, and they won by a field goal. I know it was a last second uh, throw near the end of the game, um, just to try to get back into it, which in Arizona did well. Uh, San Francisco did play a little flat that game as well. Uh, but Arizona on the road's 4-1 uh, ATS-wise on the road, which is ex exceptional. Uh, they are 4-0 in the last uh, four meetings in Arizona uh, and 8-1 and in the last nine meetings. So they play extremely well against San Francisco. San Francisco is off a, a loss on Monday night. They're on a short week. So give me... Arizona, plus 12. And my third pick of the week, we got the Houston Texans traveling to the Baltimore Ravens. The Houston Texans are a four and a half point road dog. And uh, if you're going off of history, we know that the Houston Texans have never won in Baltimore. Uh, but here we got Houston, both teams are on the first place in the division. Houston's coming off of a bye. They are 4-1, ATS on the road. I'm catching four and a half points, so give me Texans plus four and a half. And my second pick of the week, we got the Chicago Bears traveling to the Los Angeles Rams. The Los Angeles Rams are a seven point home favorite. And basically what it comes down to in this game is weapons and defense. Both teams have exceptional amount of defense. Uh, I just think the Rams have a lot more offense, a lot more to offer in this game. Uh, Chicago is 1-3 uh, ATS on the road. And if you believe in Mitch Trubisky is back because, you know, they beat Detroit uh, with a team that was, which I'll talk about later, is, is uh, broken down, um, no defense. And, 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 and he threw maybe a handful of passes. The first half, he was flat. You know, just he threw maybe five or six good passes. Um, and, and a couple of ones, you know, landed close to the end zone or in the end zone. And, and, and that's great, you know. I, I think, uh, you know, Goff is, you know, he has his ups and his downs. Uh, seems like the last couple of games are down. I think he'll bounce back this week as they come back home and, and take this victory. Seven points as light as I don't think Chicago is going to score it much at all in this game. So give me the Rams minus seven. And my number one pick of the week, we got the Atlanta Falcons traveling to the Carolina Panthers. The Carolina Panthers are a six point home favorite. And basically how it works is Carolina, they're running for the top of the division. They're trying to race with the Saints. And the Atlanta's at the bottom. And you're getting a value at this number at six. I think it started, look at line it was like seven and a half or eight. Uh, and it came down because Carolina lost in, in Green Bay. And, and the, you know, Falcons miraculously played their Super Bowl last week against the Saints. 
Uh, but Atlanta got is getting a little bit of hype here. They're like, oh, here they come, the Atlanta Falcons. I think they're just looking at that uh, New Orleans Saints game and saying, hey, we got to win this game. We got to win it now. Uh, not too worried about the Panthers. That they're going to go back to their normal game play. Uh, and, and the Saints last week, you know, they just came off a bye. They said, oh, we're playing the Falcons. We're not looking too much forward to this game, and you're, it's going to be an easy win, and, and that's what they got. You know, a little bit of that humble pie, as Aaron Rodgers will say. Uh, Atlanta is 1-4 ATS on the road, and that one game just came in last week. So give me Carolina Panthers, minus 6. And those were my favorite bets of the week. Uh, this week we got uh, four teams on a bye. We got the Green Bay Packers, New York Giants, the Seattle Seahawks, and the Tennessee Titans. Uh, as my, for my three-team teaser of the week, uh, my three-team teaser will be Jacksonville plus 10, Houston plus 11 and a half, Arizona plus 9, and if you're feeling risky, take the Pittsburgh Steelers plus 10. That should be money in the bank. Uh, but if you don't see this till Sunday, then you could obviously count out Pittsburgh and you know if they that covered or not. All right, let's go into it. Thursday game, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to the Cleveland Browns. Pittsburgh Steelers 5-4, and four. Cleveland Browns 3-6. and six. Uh, This should be a good divisional game. Uh, Cleveland's defense is stepping up a little bit um, and Pittsburgh defense is stepping up a lot. Uh, it's a three-point home uh, divisional. I, I think it's two and a half at the last time I looked. Um, or you can get it at three as well. Um, you wait till you know closer to the game time. I'm taking Pittsburgh plus three. I'm going to wait and see if I get that three. Just shop around. Uh, I love it in the teaser. You know, add seven points, you get Pittsburgh plus ten. That's a definite money winner because I don't see Cleveland beating anybody by ten. Uh, especially at home, and they are three... Uh, 03 of 1 ATS at home. So, yeah, give me uh, Pittsburgh plus the 3. Uh, next, we got the Dallas Cowboys traveling to the Detroit Lions. Dallas Cowboys 5 and 4, Detroit Lions 3 5 and 1. Detroit is depleted. Uh, if Matthew Stafford plays, I'm taking Detroit plus 3. If he doesn't, uh, and pretty more of a 6 or 7 point difference. Uh, then give me uh, Dallas uh, minus a three. Depending on what the spread is, I'm sure it'll go up. Uh, basically, Detroit, you know, they got rid of all their running backs. I've said this before in the past videos. They got rid of all their running backs. Um, and their top running back went out. Last week, the second string running back went out. Uh, they're on their third string. Uh, he's a rookie. Uh, we just drafted not too long ago uh, last year. And... And they're on their backup quarterback. Stafford, you know, he had 136 games. He never missed a game last week. Kind of screwed me up on my under and over pick from last week. Um, as I thought, you know, Stafford would have been a great plus three, you know, on the road in Chicago. Uh, but, you know, he didn't play. So, that's how that went. But it seems like Dallas, they only beat, who they beat? Uh, just off the top of my head. If I get this wrong, don't sue me. So, we got... The, uh, they beat Giants twice, they beat the Redskins once, and the Eagles once, uh, and they beat Miami. Everybody else they played, they lost to. Anybody out of their division, they lost to. So, you know, they lost to the Jets, of all people, you know. They lost to the Vikings. Uh, you know, and, and here we are, uh, they're on the road, and they haven't been doing too well on the road either. Um, and, and they're playing Detroit, but Detroit's so banged up right now, it, it'd be... Ah, uh, man, it's just a tough game. I, I'm going to take Detroit plus points. Either way, I'm not a firm believer. And, and someone commented to me, Dallas is my Achilles heels this week, as or this year, as Detroit was last year. So true. I, I totally read your message. I totally agree. I'm staying off these teams uh, the rest of the year. You know, that's the way it works. And uh, we're just going to talk about it in the later part of the video. So that's how that works. I'm done. Dallas, I'm taking them when they play in the division. Anybody else, I'm dumping them. All right, so next we got the uh, New Orleans Saints traveling to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The New Orleans Saints uh, are six-point favorite on the road in Tampa. Uh, divisional game, like I said, uh, I took the points last week uh, with Atlanta. 
I'm doing it again here in Tampa. I think that high-powered offense, as long as you know he, uh, James Winston can stop, you know, throwing interceptions, you know, uh, I think it might be doing good. The, their defense is pretty bad, and then they're 0 of 4 ATS at home. But this is a divisional game. Uh, Saints, like I said, this is gonna be, this way to game time if you got bet this game. Like I said, I'm gonna strictly. I'm hoping to go towards closer towards seven. It might not hit that. Uh, New Orleans Saints have, have won the last meeting in Tampa Bay, um, and they are three and one ATS on the road. Uh, and they're probably bounced back off the Atlanta game last week. So it's, it's tough to say. Just for betting purposes, I'm taking the home dog of six points. Uh, next, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars traveling to the Indianapolis Colts. The, uh, Jacksonville is going to start Nick Foles. They're coming off a bye. They're, yeah, Jacksonville's 3-1, ATS on the road. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts is probably, I'm hoping they start uh, Jacoby Prissett. Uh, they are 5-1 and one versus uh, Jacksonville at home in the last six meetings. Um, Hoyer last week was Bismol three turnover lost a game cost me my suicide pool as well uh, And I am out of that because the Colts can't win at home uh, against Miami uh, But the Colts usually win by two or three points in any given game. I think they had one game They won by seven all year uh, This this spread is three points uh, I'm so I'm taking uh, Jacksonville plus that three as a divisional game. Uh, next, we got Denver traveling to the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings are ten and a half point favorites at home. as uh, three scores. Uh, Minnesota is three and one ATS at home, and they have known to beat up teams. Uh, Denver uh, Broncos, their defense is exceptionally well. I think they'll give uh, Minnesota a fight for their. Uh, for this game. This is uh, Brandon Allen's second start. He's 1-0 so far. Um, so you don't know how well they're gonna play. And like I said, they, they beat Chicago a couple weeks ago. They're coming off a bye. Uh, actually, Denver's 3-1 in Minnesota. You know, uh, they won the last three meetings as well. Head-to-head uh, -head versus the team. I think this team will give them some fight. So give me uh, the Denver Broncos plus that 10 and a half. Next, we got the New York Jets traveling to the Washington Redskins. <laughs> the Washington Redskins are favored by one and a half. Somehow. I don't know. Uh, both these teams, uh, one and three on the road is for the Jets. Uh, Washington's one and three ATS at home. Uh, man, both of them look abysmal. Uh, the Jets won the last two meetings. I think Washington's going to start Dwayne Haskins. I was but not put any money on this game to save my life. But if you're in a pool and you need to pick somebody, uh, obviously Vegas knows something more than I do. And uh, they got the Washington Redskins favored for one and a half. So give me the home favorite. Why not? You know, uh, go with the home team. I'm Jets. They had two great games uh, last week and, and, uh, and Dallas game. It was the two games that they had. The only two wins that they had out of nine games. So there's a, you know, two out of seven chance that the Jets are going to play a good game. So yeah, I'll give you Washington, the one and eight home favorite. Next, we got the Buffalo Bills on back to back road games against the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Buffalo's five and a half point favorite against Miami. You know, Miami's playing pretty hard, you know. Um, they won their last two, two games. Um, you know, the, the last time these two teams played in Miami, Miami did win last year. Uh, Buffalo 3-0-1, ATS on the road, 4-1 in the last five meetings against Miami. But, you know, Miami kept close uh, in the game in Buffalo until near the end there when it kind of had a special teams touchdown. And uh, so, yeah, give me Miami at home, a divisional game. Give me uh, the home dog plus that five and a half points. Next, we got a good game. We got the New England Patriots traveling to the Philadelphia Eagles. New England Patriots are four-point road favorite. And normally, I'd take the, you know, the home dog on this. Philadelphia's really banged up. Uh, New England rarely loses two games in a row as they lost their last game in Baltimore. 
And with that, they had a bye week last week. And they're coming off a bye. They're coming off a loss. And you know that they're going to go into Philadelphia ready and prepared and with a game plan on how to beat them. Four points is kind of low to me. Uh, the Patriots are 4-1 and one straight up on the road. 3-0 and oh in Philadelphia the last three meetings. Uh, it's just a rare occurrence. You know, if the Patriots do not win this game, that you know they're not fit to go to the Super Bowl this year. They're not going to lose back-to-back -back games. They're not going to lose a game off a of bye. And Philadelphia's going to have a lot to overtake the Patriots. So give me the Patriots minus four. Next, we got the 0-9 Cincinnati Bengals traveling to the Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders second place in their division by what, like a half a game underneath the Kansas City Chiefs. They are fighting for that division. And uh, hey, you know I've got a root for them. Uh, they're four and one ATS at home. Uh, Cincinnati's Ryan Finley is going to be starting. This is going to be his second start. He was 0 and one last um, in the starts. Uh, Cincinnati is three and two ATS on the road. Uh, this point spread is ten and a half. Oh, this is going to be. I, th I think uh, Oakland's going to win, but they're not going to think much of it. Um, they would probably win by, I'd, I'd say, one score. Even if they Oakland wins by 10, you're still going to cover the spread. So, yeah, give me Cincinnati plus that uh, 10 and a half. And last but not least, the Monday night game played in Mexico City. We got the Kansas City Chiefs um, traveling with the Los Angeles Chargers traveling to the Mexico City. Mexico City, I know the field condition down there is horrible. They actually delayed the game last year and, and moved it. Uh, they couldn't play in that hard field. Uh, that, that This is a bad stadium, too. You know, uh, I don't even know why they play down there. This could be a slot fest game. I have to check the weather conditions, obviously. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a low scoring. I think at Kansas City, minus four. Kansas City, they can't lose another game. If, if they lose another game, they're going to lose first place. Uh, I, I know Andy Reid, you know, he's great against the division in these matchups. A 9-1 and one against the, the Chargers the last 10 meetings. Uh, and, and the last time they played, I, I know, you know, the Chargers barely squeaked out a win. Uh, but... Yeah, I, I'm not in this. For, I know Kansas City defense is really bad right now. Uh, they only play up when Mahomes not playing. But yeah, give me Kansas City minus that four. I know it's kind of a square play, uh, but if they lose this, Raiders will probably take the division as they're only they're playing the Bengals and they will win that game. So give me Kansas City minus four. Well, that wraps things up. I just want to say thank you for all those subs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, as in later in the week. Usually Friday night, Saturday morning. I come up with the unders and overs. I've been red hot on those all year round. Um, and also, you know, like and subscribe, please. Get notified if you want to see my videos every week. In the off season, I don't really post much. Just, you know, just keep the channel uh, live. Um, some people say, hey, you should start doing NBA. I did excellent NBA last year in college football as well, but it's just I work a full-time job. This is only just for fun for me. You know, that's all this is. So, And I just want to communicate with you guys and let you know what I think. You know, Actually, I do uh, pretty good this year. Not too bad. I'm beating the spread overall with my picks from Twitter and my picks from YouTube and my three-team teasers. I'll pan it out well. Check out the uh, NFL Prognosticators League. The links are in the description below. You know, Geo Knows, uh, Matt the Stat, uh, all those guys. They are great. Uh, I watch them every week as well. Uh, there's just so many to name. I can't name them all. That's why I got all those links below. You got to check them out. And I will see you next week. Peace. You enjoy placing a few bucks on your favorite team? Maybe try your hand at cards or on the slot. Use me as a reference and head over to my Twitter and click on the link below and receive a new member bonus and help support this channel. Bovada, just better.
Hey, that camera's not on, is it? Turn that off right now. Turn it. Yeah, I'm gonna make a big mess of myself. Pancake mix right here. All right. Enough of that. <laughs> 